Welcome to the Numerology and Astrology for August 4th, 2021. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 17. And if you add the one and the seven together, you get the number eight. Today is the number eight, reminding us to breathe. Just breathe. We live in a world where heat and fires can be a big problem. If you live in an area without fire, breathe deeply for all of us and this beautiful planet. It is breath that allows our body to get rid of toxins. Breath is the only thing that we can't live without. If we cannot breathe, we will die in minutes. That is why the air is so important and time for us to make the pollution problem a global issue that we all agree on. And the COVID issue is again about being able to breathe. If you have never been in a situation where you could not catch your breath. You may not have had the experience of a panic sensation by not being able to catch your breath. It is completely terrifying. Appreciate this moment if you are graced with the ability to breathe without struggle. Know that so many right now are having a very difficult time and send love, light, and breath to them all. The astrology today. The moon spends most of the day in the engaging and social sign of Gemini until around the late afternoon. Then it moves into the homey sign of Cancer, perfect for making your favorite dinner and cuddling up with your grandmother's quilt to watch the Olympics. Comfort is driving this boat today and we want what is familiar and nostalgic. Memories seem to want to flood in and each of us have so many ancestors that have departed on the other side. Perhaps it is a good time to have a chat with those we miss on the other side. It never hurts to remember them fondly, and you never know. When you think of them, you might hear a response back. The Sun and Chiron trine, supporting new clarity around the current problems. It is time to be able to grow through standing up for what we each feel compelled to do for our own and our family's safety. Don't let egos hinder the progress that we are currently feeling. Respect others and know that when clear boundaries are respected, then societies move more smoothly. I am sure I am not the only person so tired of those who push their narrow reality upon others. We need to respect each other more and stop projecting our biases upon them. After all, we know not what their personal situation is and no matter what, Never be a contributing energy to more upset or chaos. And my quote for today. Within the hearts of all are the warriors of spirit and time. We came here to shape this world and to change on a dime. I have a place within that always knows the way. Sometimes minds doubt, but my soul keeps them at bay. The heat rises and the time grows short. Everyone needs help and some sort of support. What can you do to change into something more? How can we become something that we adore? And my blog for today. July was a whirlwind as it was my husband's birthday month and we got to do some things we have not been able to do because of the COVID quarantine. So many activities, trips, and projects got handled and this month is my birthday month and we have had family to the house as Glenn's father also died in July. So it is the perfect time to gather family together for celebration, memories, and sharing. It has been wonderful. I got to meet so many people that I had heard about and sometimes spoken with, but never met. It is such a lovely surprise when you realize that you like everyone. That is such a pleasant surprise. So many beautiful, helpful, and engaging people with energy and vitality wonderful. I have so much to be grateful for. We have our health and have a very active life living on this land. I hope that I will still have this energy and vitality when I am in my 80s. I have loved to hear the stories from my husband's childhood that he perhaps glossed over and not completely shared the real story, but getting together with his sister she has spilled the beans and that fills in a lot of gaps in behavior and actions that my husband shows now. Our history does impact us 
and guides our behaviors, choices, and mannerisms, we cannot help but be partially shaped by our childhood experiences. What is even more important is the decisions that we made about those moments and how we choose to do something different, more conscious, and with the intent to change the world by our actions of kindness and care. While there are issues of mental illness that are hard to deal with, there are also choices to be better than the reflections shown to us by our family. It is important to strive to become more conscious and aware in this life. Everyone can improve and change if they are willing to do the very hard inner work that such a shift requires. And many things just take time. Time shapes us into becoming more patient, less self-involved, and more willing to take the necessary time that it takes to really connect with others. Why not choose to do this today? Practice allowing a calmer and more mature place to rest in our reality. Take that time with others, be fully present, and really witness and connect to those you are engaged with in this moment. Let yourself learn through the stories and experiences of others and recognize how far each of us have traveled to have this present level of awareness. Thanks, everyone.